everybody, it's Kelly Williams with The Kelly Williams Show in Bay Area Houston Magazine, and we are looking at lunar today. Again, this is part of our journey to find out what is lunar rendezvous. I am here live with Carrie Cook. I'm Carrie, hi. Hi, thanks for having us. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Um, what do you do with Lunar Rendezvous? So with Lunar Rendezvous, I am serving as the chairman of the kickoff event. Wow. Uh, which is our first official event of the Lunar Rendezvous festival season. And also who is not able to join me today is Heather Monteleon, who is also serving as the co-chair for a kickoff as well. And we've just got some exciting news to share. I am so excited. Okay, so first of all, um, what, what exactly is the kickoff? What is the history of having a kickoff event? Well, thanks for asking. So as you're aware, this is our 57th year of Lunar Rendezvous Festival. Crazy. And the kickoff really sets the tone for the season. We have some great events that we're going to be presenting at kickoff. It's also our time and place to introduce the new court as well as introduce the royal court. Our court is made up of three different groups. We have a little court and then our general court, and then our rural court. And it's a great time to really come out and introduce them to the community and talk about the wonderful things that they'll be doing within the Houston Bay Area for Lunar Rendezvous. That is so exciting, and this is all happening April 3rd. Yes, this Sunday, April 3rd, we have a fabulous new location that we're going to be kicking off Lunar Rendezvous Cannot this year. Wait. It is going to be at the brand new BMW Mini uh, dealership, and they've Gorgeous. got this remarkable space, and so it's a great opportunity to where we're going to be able to display, again, the multiple events that we'll be showcasing for this season. We also are going to have Robinette's Catering come out and display a beautiful refreshment spread for the community and in addition to that we also have several different corporate sponsors who have generously donated to the event this year to just take it to the next level so exciting okay so kickoff is is one of the the, the like the very first kind of big event to kick off lunar rendezvous season um what is the purpose of kickoff. You were talking about four different elements about what this is, event is. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, so the best way to describe kickoff is, is in, the, in the four different elements. The first part of kickoff is uh, garnered around our orientation. It's where the court will come in and learn about the different type of service community activities they'll be doing within the, the Bay Area. In addition to that, it'll also describe to them the different events that they'll be participating in because the best part about Lunar is it's not just one event and then Lunar is done. Lunar is made up of multitude of different events that really get our kids involved in the community. And the ranges of our court participa participation range from seven to nine years old to juniors in high school. Um, we also have the rural court. A couple of members are actually in college and so it gives them an opportunity to come back into the community and really showcase what um, Lunar has given to them and what they've given back to Lunar in the community. So exciting. And I'm going to tell you, if you thought Lunar Rendezvous is only one big ball event, you are mistaken because it is a year full of amazing, incredible events that um, you can actually find out more about at their website, which is LunarRendezvousFestival.org. Um, you can go there and, and find out all about that. And we're going to be talking more about that in just a minute. But Carrie, this is something, you know, one of the big things about Lunar Rendezvous is distributing scholarships and the funds that, that you collect all year from different sponsors and different events. Tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. The second part of Lunar is our distribution of funds. And so at the end of the Lunar event is when we'll have our big coronation ball and really kind of tie up everything that we've done. But as a part of that, the distribution of funds is where we're able to take all of the proceeds and sponsorships that we've garnered throughout the process and distribute them within the community. And so at kickoff, what we are able to do is bring our recipients to kickoff and present them to the community and they're able to share with us what they take the distribution of funds and use them within their arts and foundations. And what's exciting about this year is we'll also have the Bay Area Singers, who is a recipient of our distribution of funds, um, will be performing at kickoff. That is so exciting. And as you can see, you can hear a, a phone ringing. They're already calling about Lunar. 
<laughs> People are already calling to find out more about Lunar Rendezvous. How awesome is that? For those event tickets. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Everybody wants tickets. Um, okay, so, you know, the end of the year ball, which is which is when? Our end of year ball is going to be in July of this year. Okay. And the end of year ball is just a spectacular celebration of all the work that not only the volunteers have done, but the support from the families. But most importantly, it's really that presentation of the incredible court and all the work that the court members have done throughout this process. And it's just a good way to go and highlight them. But also what's really neat about the Coronation Ball is that it's really a great way for a mother, son, a daughter, father to really be presented to the community and highlight their success as a student, not only as a court member, but also as a student within the community as well. Absolutely, and, and one great thing, if, you, if you're not familiar with how to get your student on court, um, that information is on the website as well because you don't have to be some rich family to have your son Absolutely. or daughter on the Lunar Rendezvous Court. There are so many sponsors that help these kids be a part of this. It's really amazing. It's, it's just a wonderful community event um, that is Lunar Rendezvous. I, I'm going to tell you it's really incredible. Um, okay, so if somebody wants to be a sponsor of the event or find out how to sponsor a court, how do they do that? Well, that's a great question, and that's kind of the third element of kickoff is the presentation of the court. So the court is not only members of um, the community, but also it's an opportunity for different businesses or families to sponsor a member of the court. Each court member is sponsored by... Um, a, a sponsorship and so it gives them an opportunity to get out into the community uh, solicit that that sponsorship and then in addition to that we also have our general corporate sponsorship and so there's two ways to get involved um, from a sponsorship perspective we have all of fabulous sponsorship information that, that will be displayed at kickoff but also it can be found on our Lunar Rendezvous website as well wonderful and, and you know a lot of people <clears throat> You know, a lot of people don't understand a lot of the events that happen, especially mm -hmm. in the Bay Area, um, that they think it's just one big party, and that's all <laughs> it is. Well, this is a big party, but it's lots of parties, actually. Right, exactly. But it is party for a purpose, and I'm going to tell you, Lunar Rendezvous does some amazing things in the community, and they give back. And they give back as, a, as a, an event, but they also help these students that are on the court either learn how to give back or really support them giving back to the community. That is a very, very important part. And we're so excited that Lunar Rendezvous is turning 57. I know. Can you believe it? That's crazy. That's crazy. And of course, the chair is standing right there. Oh, hey. Wendy Drapella. Hey, Wendy. <laughs> it's, uh, all, it's all about kickoff and all about my carry. <laughs> I'll just put this in here. Carrie and Heather are amazing, and you are going to be so excited to see what they have come up with for y'all. We can't Along wait. Along with BMW, our big sponsor. We cannot wait. I'm going to tell you, Carrie, what do you think that your favorite part about being part of this kickoff team has been? Well, you know, that I love this question, and I love it for multiple reasons. The first reason is I'm not a native to this area. Oh, my goodness. Um, I actually was born and raised just north of Houston, and I was introduced to Lunar Rendezvous, gosh, when it, like 10 years ago maybe? Wow. By Penny Brockway. And oh, so Penny, Penny and I were former neighbors, and we she just yeah. got to talking about Lunar. And that next season, my oldest, who is now 14, Gwendolyn, was a member of the Little Lady in Waiting. Oh my goodness. And so from that point, it just really, through all the events and watching Gwendolyn get into the community and participate in the service project at just seven, eight, I believe she was yeah. at the time, um, really get in and also look up to the, the older court members. It just, you could see that spark in her eyes. And then to be presented by her father during the oh. coronation ball was just such a sweet forever dear moment um, for us. And then two years later, my youngest, Madeline, also was a member of the Little Lady in Waiting Court. Oh my goodness. And so it was after Madeline's tenure that I said, you know what, I got to get more involved in this. Absolutely. And so from that year is I started out as a co-chair for kickoff and then just kind of 
that has been my thing for the past four or five years. I mean, even during the time of COVID, we weren't going to let it stop yeah. Lunar Rendezvous. So we definitely rolled with the punches on that one. But it has just been an organization that has not only been good to my family, but also has given us an opportunity to really get into the community and really get a deeper involvement with the different um, areas of the community because the best part about Lunar is it's not just in one area. It's you've got Lake City, you've got Nassau Bay, you've got all of the surrounding areas and it just really brings together our kids from the different high schools and it's, it's great to see them interact. You know, we have an opportunity with kids to interact through different club sports in the area and it brings them back but also most importantly when they have this lunar connection it is just phenomenal to see it grow year after year and absolutely see now the little ladies and waitings and pages then go on to the big court we've seen some of that transitioning happen it's just such a neat event I mean it, it really draws you in once you become a part of it and we're just so excited for all the new sponsorships that we have this year, the new members that are joining our court. We have 69 Royal Court members. Oh my goodness, that is exciting. That's just the big wow. part. We've got 24 Little Court members. Oh my so goodness. So it's again a combination of Little Ladies in Waitings and Pages. So yeah. it's not just a singular, we've just got a mix of all different types of students that are a part of it this year and so that kind of brings me to the fourth element which is the most exciting part is that again kickoff just sets the tone for the season but beyond kickoff we've got some wonderful events that are just being chaired by some of the most dedicated hard-working volunteers who have just selflessly given their time and energy to just create one of the best Lunar Rendezvous seasons so at kickoff, one of the things we will have is in this new location, we will have a display of our sunset service. Oh, I love um, that. Which is such a great event. It's where the kids really come together and they show an appreciation of what they've just been blessed with. And um, it's a wonderful location this year. So more to come on that. Of course, we've got a fabulous dining night that is going to take place on June 6th at Pier 6. Um, so if you haven't so gotten your fun. VIP table yet. That's right. That's right. You can still get it, right? Yes, you can still get it. Uh, we will definitely be selling tickets for that night. We've okay. got um, a wonderful dinner, wonderful entertainment. Of course, you can't beat the setting at Pier 6. It's just fabulous. It's so much fun there. I'm, yes. I'm so excited. And look, if you are watching this and you are interested in finding out how your child can be part of the court. Well, there's the great thing about it is that it's not only juniors in high school, it's the smaller kids as Absolutely. well from ages seven to nine. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Um, I mean, there are several ways for you to get your child Kelly. involved with this. Yes. Ten. Seven to oh, ten? ten. Seven Thanks, to lady. ten. There you go. We got a whole new group of people that are, that are <laughs> eligible. Um, it's just one of these wonderful. Um, organizations that you need to be a part of and if you have children that are too old you need to be a part of it as a volunteer as a sponsor whatever you can do Lunar Rendezvous is one of those things that not only um, enhances our community and does amazing things for our community but they do amazing things for young people and it's just a huge give back um, and that's one of the really great things about Lunar Rendezvous, and it's going to be so much fun this year. Kickoff is April 3rd at the new BMW location. Where right. is that located? Do you know? Um, so that is right off of I-45, okay. I believe the 2351 exit. Yes. Okay, 2351 awesome. 2351 exit. Um, orientation will kick off from 12 to 2. Okay. And then we will have our official kickoff following that. So again, we're going to have Robinette's catering out. Yummy. One stop party, um, tents and event is also um, generously donated uh, several different elements to the kickoff. We're going to have the distribution of funds, and so it's a great way so for the recipients to share their story of what their funds are allocated to toward 
Uh, also, we're going to have the Bay Area Singers uh, is going to give us a little ensemble. They're going to have a little ensemble that's going to sing a few so fun. songs. So we're excited about that. We're also going to have Oh What Fun <laughs> out. And Oh What Fun offers a selfie booth. So, of course, you know, you can't have a kickoff for no. all of these great kiddos without, without having selfies. some sort of Absolutely. selfie or <laughs> you know phone but That's OFM right. will be out there with a great display for for the kids to take all the selfies they'd like to have um, in addition to that we will be selling tickets um, in addition to the events we also have a great raffle this <gasps> year I love raffles yes who doesn't love raffles it may involve Las Vegas and Elvis uh oh but don't want to give too much <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got some great gifts on the raffle tickets. Um, so we'll be promoting the raffle sale um, also. And again, all of the various events. So just to recap them from dining night to sunset service to the coronation ball. Again, the raffle tickets um, we'll have on display. And it's really just to bring everybody together and really kick off the 57th annual Lunar Rendezvous Festival. Love it. Okay, so this is open to the public. It is. Okay. It is. You can you can come to this event, guys, Sunday, April 3rd. Come to the Lunar Rendezvous kickoff at the new BMW location on I-45, right at 2351. Um, that is, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, okay. So, Carrie, if, if there's one thing you want to for people to know about Lunar Rendezvous, what would it be? Well, I think you said it best just a little while ago, is that Lunar Rendezvous is n two things that are very near and dear um, to myself and and what my children have experienced from it, is that it's a great way to teach the core value of giving back. Yeah. And they're not only giving back, but most importantly, Lunar is giving back um, to so many different recipients from scholarships to distribution of funds to various organizations. It just, it, and it's not just we kick off and we have a Lunar Rendezvous season. Lunar Rendezvous really is a 365 um, day event that continuously gives back in so many different ways. And we are just so excited again to be back and kick off the 57th annual and we've just got an exciting calendar ahead of us yeah uh, it's so exciting guys if you want more information about lunar rendezvous you can go to their website lunar rendezvous festival.org you can buy tickets you can find out about all the amazing events coming up if you're interested in sponsoring if you want your child to be involved for the next year's events you can find all of that right there on their website but Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hey, Carrie, thank you. It was nice to meet you today. Oh, thank you so much for having yes, us. Yes, I'm so, so excited. excited. I'm so excited. Cannot wait to see everybody April the 3rd. Um, join us later in the month. We are going to be continuing our Looking at Lunar Rendezvous um, events. And we're going to be interviewing some more fun people and, and uh, sharing information about what you need to know about Lunar Rendezvous and how you can be a part of it. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome and blessed rest of your day. And we will see you April the 3rd at the Lunar Rendezvous kickoff. Right here. See you there. See you there. Woo! Bye. Bye.